Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the fourth week of April 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Dancer Len Goodman died April 22, 2023 in Kent, England. He died of bone cancer at the age of 78. He was a beloved judge on Dancing with the Stars from 2005 until his retirement at the end of last year. Goodman is also being remembered as the longtime head judge on the BBC One dance competition show Strictly Come Dancing. Actor and comedian Barry Humphreys died April 22, 2023 at a hospital in Sydney, Australia. He died of complications from hip surgery at the age of 89. He was best known for his flamboyant, lavender-haired character, Dame Edna, whom he portrayed for more than 60 years on TV, at comedy clubs, and in movies. Humphreys is also being remembered for his characters Sir Les Patterson and Sandy Stone, as well as for providing the voice of Bruce the Shark in Finding Nemo. Football player Bob Berry died April 19, 2023, in Santa Cruz, California, at the age of 81. His cause of death has not been officially announced as of this recording. He was a quarterback who went to three Super Bowls with the Minnesota Vikings and played in the Pro Bowl while he was with the Atlanta Falcons. Berry is also being remembered for his college football career at the University of Oregon. Singer and songwriter Ron Patch Hamilton died April 19, 2023, at his home. He died after fighting dementia at the age of 72. He was better known as Patch the Pirate, the character he created after losing an eye to cancer. Hamilton is being remembered for the Christian songs and stories for children he created for decades as Patch the Pirate. World War II veteran Ken Potts died April 21, 2023, in Provo, Utah, at the age of 102. His cause of death has not been officially announced as of this recording. He joined the U.S. Navy in 1939 and was assigned to the USS Arizona as a crane operator. Two years later, he was taking supplies to the ship when it was attacked at Pearl Harbor, bringing the U.S. into World War II. He helped pull his fellow sailors out of the water. Potts is being remembered as one of the last two remaining survivors of the USS Arizona's crew. Athlete Herb Douglas died April 22, 2023, in Pittsburgh at the age of 101. His cause of death has not been officially announced as of this recording. He won a bronze medal at the 1948 Summer Olympics in London, competing in long jump. Douglas is being remembered as the oldest living Olympic medalist from the U.S. prior to his death. Musician Keith Gaddis died April 23, 2023, in Nashville, Tennessee, at the age of 52. His cause of death has not been officially announced as of this recording. He wrote country songs, including the Kenny Chesney hit El Cerrito Place and I Got a Car, made famous by George Strait. Gaddis is also being remembered for his own recording career and playing guitar with musicians, including Dwight Yoakam and Johnny Paycheck. Singer Mark Stewart died April 21, 2023, at the age of 62. His cause of death has not been officially announced as of this recording. He was the lead singer for the British band The Pop Group, known for songs including Where There's a Will, There's a Way. Stewart is being remembered as a pioneer of post-punk music who inspired artists including Nine Inch Nails and Sonic Youth. Singer, actor, and civil rights activist Harry Belafonte died April 25, 2023 at his home in New York City. 
he died of congestive heart failure at the age of 96. His iconic songs included Deo, the banana boat song, and Jump in the Line, Shake Sonora, and he was unforgettable in movies like Carmen Jones and Island in the Sun. Belafonte was the first musical artist to make a record album that sold a million copies, and he was one of the only performers in history to win an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony Award. He is also being remembered for his lifelong commitment to civil rights, including co-organizing the March on Washington with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., supporting the fight against apartheid in South Africa, and organizing the musical charity effort We Are the World. Belafonte was a U.S. Navy veteran of World War II. Musician Isaac Ike Wiley died in April 2023 at the age of 69. His cause of death has not been officially announced as of this recording. He was the founding drummer for the Daz Band, known for 80s funk hits such as Let It Whip. Wiley is also being remembered for his work as a jazz drummer with artists including Stanley Clark and Bob James. Ginny Newhart died April 23, 2023 at her home in Los Angeles. She died after a long illness at the age of 82. She was married to comedian and actor Bob Newhart for 60 years. Newhart is being remembered for coming up with the idea for the iconic series finale to her husband's 1980s sitcom Newhart. Musician Ron Cahoot died April 22, 2023, in Toronto at the age of 68. His cause of death has not been officially announced as of this recording. He was the lead singer and accordionist for the Ukrainian-Canadian band Burya, known for songs like Fly Kozak. Cahoot is also being remembered for his stand-up comedy and his educational music for children. Baseball player Dave Frost died April 14, 2023, at a hospital in Westminster, California. He died of injuries related to a car accident last month at the age of 70. He was a pitcher for the California Angels in the 1970s and 80s, helping them to the postseason in 1979. Frost is also being remembered for his seasons with the Chicago White Sox and Kansas City Royals. Author Rachel Pollack died April 7, 2023, at her home in Rhinebeck, New York. She died of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at the age of 77. She was an expert in interpreting tarot cards, who wrote the widely respected tarot guide, 78 Degrees of Wisdom. Pollock is also being remembered as an award-winning science fiction and comic book writer who created the Doom Patrol character Coagula, the first transgender superhero for DC Comics. Chef Emily Maggot died April 21, 2023, at her home in Edisto Island, South Carolina. She died after a short illness at the age of 90. She wrote the best-selling cookbook, Gullah Geechee Home Cooking, Recipes from the Matriarch of Edisto Island, the first major cookbook to feature the cuisine of the Gullah Geechee culture of the southeastern U.S. Maggot is being remembered for her ability to feed a crowd while cooking intuitively without ever using written recipes. Talk show host Jerry Springer died April 27, 2023, at his home in the Chicago area. He died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 79. He was the longtime host of the talk show Jerry Springer, a controversial guilty pleasure known for its tabloid topics and chaotic style featuring fights, nudity, and profanity. Springer is also being remembered as the mayor of Cincinnati in the 1970s, as well as the host of the courtroom show Judge Jerry. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, 
Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are this week's anniversaries. Ten years ago this week, musician Richie Havens died at the age of 72. He became an icon for a generation when he was the first artist to perform at Woodstock. Ten years ago this week, musician George Jones died at the age of 81. The country music superstar recorded many hits, including White Lightning and He Stopped Loving Her Today. Fourteen years ago this week, actress B. Arthur died at the age of 86. She was a sitcom star, first as the title character on Maud, and then as Dorothy on The Golden Girls. Thirty-four years ago this week, Actress and comedian Lucille Ball died at the age of 77. She co-created and starred in I Love Lucy, one of the most beloved and iconic sitcoms of all time. Actress Sandra D. was born 81 years ago this week. She died in 2005 at the age of 62. We remember her for movies including Gidget and Imitation of Life. Radio DJ Casey Kasem was born 91 years ago this week. He died in 2014 at the age of 82. He hosted top 40 radio countdown shows for decades, and he was the voice of Shaggy in the original Scooby-Doo cartoons. Basketball player Meadowlark Lemon was born 91 years ago this week. He died in 2015 at the age of 83. He was the Clown Prince of the Harlem Globetrotters and a member of the Basketball Hall of Fame. Actress and diplomat Shirley Temple was born 95 years ago this week. She died in 2014 at the age of 85. One of the greatest child stars of all time, she went on to a career as a U.S. ambassador to Ghana and Czechoslovakia. TV producer Aaron Spelling was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 2006 at the age of 83. His many TV hits included Charlie's Angels, Dynasty, and Beverly Hills 90210. Singer Ella Fitzgerald was born 106 years ago this week. She died in 1996 at the age of 79. Her warm, beautiful voice on songs like Dream a Little Dream of Me earned her the nickname The First Lady of Song. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Minnesota have been lowered to honor the memory of Deputy Josh Owen. Flags in South Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of 12 Revolutionary War soldiers being reburied with full honors in Camden. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of former Governor Tony Earle. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Sergeant Joseph Zigorowski. Flags in Montana have been lowered to honor the memory of Montana's last Pearl Harbor survivor, Charlie Dowd. Flags in Ohio have been lowered to honor the memory of Madeira Elementary School Principal Chris Flanagan. Flags in New Mexico have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Representative Candelaria Candy Cordova. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.